Hey all, my name is Paul Borowski and I am the owner of Quality Business Consultant. And what I'd like to do today is to give you all some insights into my Starbucks 2021 financial reports, specifically my beginner's guide as well as my Starbucks 2021 financial report. So the way the video is gonna play out is first and foremost, I'm gonna go ahead and provide y'all with a little bit of background about me, who I am, what I do and why I do it. From that point in time, we're then going to dive into my Starbucks 2021 financial report. I'll show you all what the difference is between the uh, beginner's guide as well um, as compared to my financial report. And then I'll go ahead and set y'all's expectations of what you should expect for each one of the sections of the financial report. And at the end of the video, if you're interested in purchasing one of the reports, I'll give you a link that you'll be able to get some more information on it and you'll be able to do so. It is a downloadable PDF. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and zip through this little handy dandy PowerPoint presentation that I've got concocted for your listening and viewing pleasure. All right, so as promised a little bit about me, again, Paul Borowski, MBA, doctoral candidate, as well as the owner of Quality Business Consultant, and I am a published author. I have published the Beginner's Guide to Understanding Financial Statements and Financial Ratios. Uh, check me out on Amazon with that book. Also, I have published about 20 to 25 company reports for multinational organizations, and I've been doing that for the last five to six years. So if you're interested in my Starbucks 2021 financial report or any other of my financial reports, uh, check them out at this link right here. And then finally, I'm an, I am an adjunct professor, professor and subject matter expert in both in finance. So I do have some education backing up my thoughts and ideas for my analysis. All right, so as I stated uh, just a couple of seconds ago, uh, my financial reports, they, they do come in two flavors. Uh, the, one of them is the Starbucks 2021 Beginner's Guide. So all of my Beginner's Guide can be found in my financial report. So what I've done is I, for the financial report, I build off and I added more content to the Beginner's Guide, which voila, came up to my financial report. So I do have the two reports, the Starbucks Beginner's Guide, as well as the actual financial report. All right, so let's see what's next. All right, so in both of them, in both of the reports, I do summarize Starbucks income statement, and this is the summary income statement that I do include in there. Next, what I'll do is I'll go through the, I'll do, I went through the Starbucks income statement and I extrapolated important line items from the income statement, whether it be the, the cash, I'm sorry, whether it be the, um, the revenues, or the cost of goods sold, the, it's um, SGNA. So what I did is I extrapolated that those line items. I'll give you a review of what the line item is. For example, revenues. I'll, I'll define it, and then I'll go ahead and provide with an other words, or I'll give you a different perspective of the definition to help you better understand what that line item means. And then I'll go ahead and give you some analysis tips as to what to look for for trends for that line item. And I do that for the, like I said, the most important aspects of the income statement. And then for the financial report, but it's not included in the beginner's guide, I'll give you a brief analysis as to my thoughts and ideas about the trends of what's happening with that line item for the organization. And then I'll give you an analysis grade. I'll also break out the revenues and then I'll compare those revenues with the growth rate or some other metrics to help you better understand how well the organization or how not good the organization is doing uh, based on um, a different perspectives. So you can do the trend analysis as well as compared to a different metrics for the financial report. Second section is focused on the summarized balance sheet. So this is a summarized balance sheet for the um, for Starbucks. And what I did with this, um, what I did with the next section is for each one of, for a lot of the line items, I broke it out. I explained what the line item meant. For example, cash, I'll define it. I'll give you a different perspective of how to view cash. And then I'll give you some analysis tips of what to look for, for the trends in that line item. And in the financial report that's not included in the beginner's guide, I'll give you a analysis um, from my thoughts and ideas about the trends. I'll also compare the line item cash to different metrics as well. For this example, I'll compare cash to percent of sales and then percent of total assets to give you a different perspective. And this is the summary, an example summary of what you can expect for the, um, for the, uh, for the most important line items for the balance sheet. The final section is my financial ratios for Starbucks. I did calculate five years of financial ratios and I categorized them into liquidity ratios, asset ratios, profitability ratios, and debt ratios. 
for my finance ratio section, I will, uh, for each one of the sections, I'll introduce the different ratios. I'll give you the formulas. And then I'll also summarize the current, the, the ratios for each one. For example, the current ratio, cash ratio, quick ratio, networking, uh, networking capital. I'll summarize those ratios right here for you up front. Next, what I'll do in the both the beginner's guide as well as the financial report, I'll break out for, for the most part, a lot of the ratios. I'll explain what the ratio is. I'll give you the formula for the ratio. I'll give you a different perspective of how to view the ratio. And then I'll give you some analysis tips. And then also what we'll do is we'll go into the calculations, for example, for the current ratio, the current assets that I use divided by the current utility, current liabilities that I use. And then here is the current ratio for the last five years. So you get the calculations in both of the reports. In the financial report for Starbucks, as compared to the beginner's guide, I do go into further analysis and I take a look at the trends, or trend or trends for that particular financial ratio. And I do that for, again, a lot of the ratios, not all of them, but for a lot of them. And then I'll give you analysis grade for it as well. All right, so hopefully that information was helpful. If you're interested in purchasing one of my Starbucks 2021 financial reports, just visit my website right here, and here's the link. And as always, uh, have a great day, and you know, thanks for listening. Thank you.